Before we get into the video, here's a quick shout out to Oyoa.com, our sponsor. If you don't want to grind for items, runes, and you want armor real quick, then you can get it from these stalwart champions. And by using the code in the description, you can get 3% off. Remember, Guru. Greetings, Elden Ring Guru here, and today I'm going to serve up a fresh new cheese for Rikard, Lord of Blasphemy. We'll still be using the weapon that you pick up for the fog door to kill him, the Serpent Hunter, but we'll be killing him from somewhere where he can't reach you. So listen carefully. Run up to the monstrosity to trigger him, and then run back towards the foggy door. Follow my lead and jump up the rocks at the side of the door. You can use the Ag Heal's Flame incantation to make it easier to get up there, as it elevates you off the ground and allows you to jump that little bit higher. But you can get up there just by jumping normally as well. Once you are up, jump up the rocks to your right, so you are basically on top of the fog door. The snake can't reach you up here, so now all you have to do is use the Serpent Hunter's special attack to penetrate him through the rocks to his death. Just don't get too close to the edge as you can take fire damage. Once his first form is dead, the cutscene will trigger. When it's over, you'll be teleported back onto the ground as his second phase begins. So you'll have to run back to the rocks and jump up again. You can use the Akil Slam twice in a row to guarantee getting up there, but one cast should be all you need. Once you are back up, best to stay around the flat area this time, as you have more space here to avoid the only attack that can reach you in phase two. At some point during this phase, you will summon homing skulls and fireballs. When you see them start to appear, just run backwards and forwards to avoid them until they have stopped coming. If you have the timing down, you can stun lock him with the weapon's L2 move for the whole of phase two. If not, you'll have to dodge the skulls at some point. All of his other moves can't reach you up here, so once you've climbed up, the fight is pretty much over. He might be the Lord of Blasphemy, but you are the Lord of Cheese. You can't make the jump normally, but you can purchase Ag Heal's Flame at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion in Kaelid for two Dragon Hearts. It will be unlocked at the altar once you have killed Flying Dragon Ag Heal in Lindgrave. Subscribe and click the bell icon for more boss guides and a plethora of other Elden Ring content, including a Rage playthrough by the other guy on the channel that sucks at games. You will love it. Damn it, he wouldn't do it! This game is a net! Earth and water? <laughs> what? I was winning and I got a connection error. This game blows.